In a few moments, when I sign this bill, health insurance reform becomes law in the United States of America. The left in America has been trying for 50 years to get control of the health care system. Moving towards a single-payer system could very well make sense. I'm all for a single-payer system. I want it single-payer. Instead of having a single-payer or a national health service style plan, it often ends up being crony capitalism. I said, I don't know, seven, eight thousand dollars and she said, no, it's twenty thousand dollars. The buyer doesn't know what the prices are and can't do anything about the prices even if he knows what the prices are. The American system is barely capitalistic at all because there's so much distortion to the system by how involved the government already is in the whole process. For some person to stick his Pinocchio nose between me and my patient. That person is an interloper. The market is just begging and pleading to help out, and yet all we get from Washington is obstructionism. When government comes up with a bad idea, there's no way to get rid of it. They don't solve the problems. Capitalism solves problems. The long-run solution to the U.S. fiscal problem is death panels and sales taxes. To say that there is no death panel may be naive, but I think worse than that, it's deceptive. The people who will suffer most when the government gains control, the children or the old people, these are the ones whose care will be rationed. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. God bless you. If the government can tell you that you have no religion in your business, if they can take away your faith, they can take away a lot of things. Military veterans are dying needlessly because of long waits at some U.S. veterans' hospitals. And if they died, they were just crossed off as if they had never shown up for care. So tell me, what do you think of the National Health Service? Rubbish. The British have been subject to a confidence trick that their system is the best, when actually it's either the worst or amongst the worst in the Western world. Elderly and vulnerable patients were left unwashed, unfed, and without fluids. Governments are not very good at running things. Why should we expect them to be any better at running hospitals? Don't imagine that if you go down this road, you're going to be able to change your mind later. We can say right now that the key issue is we do not want socialized medicine.